Well, no raid for me. I got a big hole in the boat. This is part one of a four day trip to Mile Lakes with the Sydney Raid Sailing Group, full of disasters, dingoes, and giant lizards. So we made it to Bulladila. Now I'm heading along the dirt road to Violet Hill boat ramp. And I can see Bruce is behind me. Yeah, there's a lot of potholes, so I'm just taking it really slowly. Well, at last, we're out on the water. Uh, it's, it's quite a bit of wind today. It's about lunchtime. Some of the guys are still turning up, so uh, we're just sort of pottering around a bit. Bruce has gone over to uh, where he's going to camp the night, over at Johnson's, and we'll probably join him later. Uh, beautiful day today. It's only going to get stronger, I think. So there's Josh with Kingfisher and David about to launch. There's quite a bit of wind coming through here. Just waiting to see what was taking uh, David so long and he's been bailing out water. It appears he's got a hole in his boat, which is not good. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen. Is it fixable? No. Oh no. Apparently Dave's got a hole in the bottom of his boat, which is about six inches. So I don't know what's caused that. He obviously launched and it filled up with water. And it's not fixable, which is a real shame, so I don't know what he's going to do. And they're just trying to retrieve David's boat. Obviously the leak must be on one side. No good at all. Well, no raid for me. I got a big hole in the boat. He's just shouting out that he's going to drive home to the Blue Mountains, which is about five hours from here get his other boat and then come back. That's dedication for you. Bon voyage. Have fun. I'll stay on land. We're going to go for a bit of a sail. A bit of a sail down there. Blue skies, beautiful. It's probably, um, I'd say, eight knots maybe, with some strong gusts. Okay, so that's a real shame with David and his boat. I don't know quite what happens. I'll find out from Josh when we get ashore. Uh, I don't know if the seam opened up or he actually got a hole, but um, pretty serious. So we had a great sail this afternoon and we're over now at Johnson's Beach and Trevor's about to set up his rig for the night. He's never slept on the boat before, so uh, we'll see what he uses and if it works. Poor boat, he's given up false accusations. So everything's in dry bags. First step, putting the A-frame in. A-frame going in. Tiller remote control or cruise control, whatever you want to call it, the tensioner, to hold the legs down so it doesn't 
flied on me in the middle of the night. Oh, no. So these ones are hot off the press, they haven't actually been sealed or painted or anything yet. So that's going to support the bed. It's down there, I'll strap them down in a minute. And the stretcher just sits straight on top. And it can't go forward because it's locked in here, can't go back, can't go sideways. Once I strap it at the front there, it's all done. Oh wow, that looks good, doesn't it? He's bolted on a stretcher. And I have to say, it does look pretty comfy. It will be comfy. Especially when I add this inflatable mattress on top. So this is what your wife lovingly stitched together. Yes. But they always say behind every man there's a good woman. That's right. Every, behind every great man is a great woman. And, uh, that just goes over the back like that. And that's essentially the back there. Yeah, but... Job done. That's good enough. There you have. Look Ice at cream. that. Mozzie proof. Definitely got a good wife there. I reckon that's a pretty good setup. So you're going to put a mozzie net on the front? in the next version. Maybe just straight down here. Yeah. Very nice, yes. It's about 7.30, time for dinner, I'm hungry. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful sunset. So we had a great day's sail today. Good bit of breeze, and I think tomorrow will be just as good. Good morning, well I think it's about seven o'clock in the morning. I had a really great night's sleep. It was really quiet here. Wind's come up now slightly. It's gonna get a lot stronger later on. Yeah, good night. Morning, Trev. Morning, how you going, Paul? Good, good night's sleep. Excellent night's sleep. The new bed worked really well and um, stayed dry and um, yeah, I was surprisingly comfortable. Hello, hello. Really good. Yours? So on day two, we travelled from Johnson's Beach through the narrows of Barlet Hill to Shelley's Beach and would later be joined by Robert and John. Yeah. Just gone past Violet Hill, and of course there's no wind just here, but um, there will be up ahead. So the wind's behind us, we're just running down from Violet Hill. I just want to get out to the big lake before I put the mainsail up. So it's going to be pretty breezy out there, so just playing it by ear really. And that was John Lewis, his boat. I'll find out what it is when we get to Shelley. It's a good breeze.
and the rain has come down. So Trev, slight chance of a shower. There's <laughs> blue sky coming. At least the water's warm. So I saw you put the main up and then you were sort of going slower. Yes, well, I scared myself. I thought it was going to tip me out. Um, so I turned into the wind and put it back down again. So oh, okay. the rain was only up for about five minutes. And then right, yeah. It was um, slow going, but it was comfortable. And who's this, Bruce? Oh, this is Andrew, my neighbour from Summerland Point. G'day. Hi, Andrew. Nice set of boats. I brought the stink boat. <laughs> the rescue boat. <laughs> taken refuge out of the rain. We're about to head back and another squall's come through, so we're gonna sit this one out and then uh, head back after that. It's uh, pretty wet. We've decided to head back to Johnson's because it might be a bit more protected. Still quite a bit of wind and rain around, but it's warm. So that's where the weather was coming from. Ah, well it's been a bit hairy sailing back through these narrows. Um, Josh and uh, Trevor have both motored through here because um, it was pretty strong. Uh, but I think I'm on the last tack now through here, so it should be good. A lot of bullets coming through here, so you've got to be a bit careful. Anyway, the sun's coming out now, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. Might be a few storm cells still coming through. I can see rain down there, and there might be some more rain coming. Anyway, it's all good in the world. <laughs> Just don't hit me. <laughs> Very good. He's rode all the way from Shelley, surely not. So we're back at uh, Johnson's Beach. Interesting sail back from Shelley. Very windy. I only had the Mizzen and the uh, Genoa up. Uh, a couple of the other guys motored. It was pretty strong. There were lots of bullets coming through that pass there or through the straits. Um, yeah, pretty hairy. But over here, the wind seems to be dying down a bit and the sun has come out. The rain hopefully is gone. It's getting quite warm again, so all good. So this is John's setup. Heaps of room. So here's my uh, conduit for tent poles. Oh, I think it seems to work. Yeah, 20 mil conduit with some joiners, bent with a heat gun, uh, just to give it a bit of shape. Probably needs to be adjusted down a bit further, but uh, proof of concept works.
references. You go for a bit of a swim. You yeah. So did you read the book about the guy that sailed it from somewhere in England to the Ukraine? <laughs> no. Including the English Channel crossing. Completely mad. I think you'd have to be crazy to do that, wouldn't you? He was. He was nutter. He was a total nutter. But I, I read this book and I said, oh, no, he's not going to do that, is he? Oh, no. But he made it. Yeah. And he's alive to tell the story. Just dehydrating my dinner, which is pumpkin and mushroom risotto. Now you might say you had that last time. Well, that's true. When I use the dehydrator, I make five, six meals in one go. Um, cost effective and cheaper than bought ones. And they're really good. So this is Robert's boudoir for the night his first night of sleeping on board. Hope it goes well, Robert. So do I. <laughs> so please watch part two, where we have more dinghy cruising adventures with giant lizards, storms, more weather, but brilliant sailing. And this is the reason why I like dinghy cruising. <laughs>